Hello and welcome back to Graphics PSD and today I have 27 illustrator tips, tricks, shortcut keys and script which I would like to tell you in this special video. So make sure you watch this video till end and give a big thumbs up to this video. Thank you for watching. Now let's see what we have in illustrator. Do you know that you can duplicate any image or vector you have created really fast in Illustrator? Well simply select all the image you created and hold down the alt key and drag your mouse button by holding the shift key also it will going to make the copy of it and it's really useful for creating tons of great thing because it will instantly make the copy of any image you are creating. So this is how you do it. Most of the time people get confused by the selection tool and the direct selection tool. Well the reality is different. If your image is grouped so you can buy you move it by the selection tool like this. But with the help of the direct selection tool you can move this individual object one by one. And this tool is really useful while, while making the complicated designs in an illustrator. Do you know that the magic wand tool can be used for selecting the specific same color? For example, if I am selecting only this color, I will going to click on it and it will select only the color that I have been selected. And for example, if I make another color uh, similar to the icon you are seeing, so like this, I will going to select the magic wand and if I press here it will select all the colors similar to it so it's really useful uh, for selecting the specific color in illustrator well lots of people do not like using this basic shape but this basic shape can help you create many uh, great things for example you can create some of the basic flat things with it in no time and these shapes are really useful for also a greater project you are working on and believe me i have created so many things with these shapes and i have made uh, for uh, made an element for my shop and they are quite famous because these elements can be used for many purposes so make sure you do check this when most of the time you draw the shape and you want it to add more anchor point to somewhere here so there is an option for it at add anchor point like this you can just simply select the tool and click anywhere you want to add the anchor point and now you have a separate anchor point which you can move around do you know that you can make another copy of the artboard by simply selecting the artboard option and dragging by holding the alt key option from the keyboard. Sometime it happened in illustrator artboard you created too many elements and you need to find where they are. So best way to do is to select the hand tool and just drag the mouse to see where your or element is and it's really useful for creating it and once you find it quickly select another tool and start making your design whenever you are creating a new document or new artboard in illustrator make sure you select the setting and see if the color mode is RGB and CMYK. If the color mode is in RGB, it means that you are creating for web and if it's in CMYK, it means that you are creating in a printing version. So if you however created the document and you forget that you have to make it into the um, RGB mean to for the web purpose you need to go to file and change the color mode by going to the document color mode and select the RGB and that's how you do it to change the colors in illustrator it's really simple to create a brush in illustrator just simply draw your shape you want and add some effect from anywhere you want for example if I'm doing something like this and click OK then I can expand this and go to windows and there's a brushes option over here simply drag and drop your brush shape that you have created select the art brush click ok and select the method to tint and hit ok now you have successfully created the brush in illustrator sometimes it's really hard to select the script from going to 
file, script and other script. The simplest way to select the script is to download the plugin known as the JSX Launcher. Well basically all the JSX script will be placed over here and you don't need to go again and again by going to file script and selecting other script and going to your desired location. So it's the best way and simplest way to do it. Do you know there is a script that can convert your text into a text block like a cubic design in no time? Well yes, it's known as the text block which you can download for absolutely free of cost. Do you know that in Illustrator you can export multiple files in a single time? Well yes, it's now possible in Illustrator 2019. There is an export option, new thing here, just drag and drop your asset and select all the format you want to export and just click on export and it will automatically export all of your individual files in different file format. It is really hard to change the color of individual elements you have created in Illustrator. Now it's really simple, you can do it all together. Just select the swatches color you like, for example these color I am selecting and there is a script which you can download for free and the script known as the random swatches fill and it will fill all the colors you have selected from the swatches. Easy right? Well do you know that there is a script which can help you change the size of the individual element you have created? Well select all the elements you want to change and go to file and select the script which is also for free which is known as the rent resize. Just select it 50 according to your size and 100 and here you go. You can see the changes of the size is occurred. There is a script for changing the opacity of each element or the vector design you created. Simply select all the elements you created, go to file script and other script. This plugin or script is also free, it's known as the rent opacity. Select it and change the opacity according to your need. Here you go, as you can see the opacity is changed for individual element. There is a plugin which can help you mirror your image or design you made and that is known as Mirror Me which you can download from SGU Graphic. Simply add the Mirror Me plugin over here and start drawing at the one side and it will automatically start making on the other side of the area. In Illustrator, you can make your design into isometric design by simply making the simple design go to Effect 3D Extrude and Bevel and there you're going to select the position as any isometric shape you want for example left right and top you can click on it and click the preview button and it will show you how it made over here simple right Ever wanted to know how I created these geometric shapes? Well, it's really simple in Illustrator. There's a script known as Metatron Cube. Just click OK and there is an option you can see over here. Simply just click OK and it will create a shape for you that will basically based on the geometric styles. There is a tons of ways you can do and make your shapes and these exclusively script is available for free and also you can use it for many purpose hope you like it well you know that in illustrator you can convert any shape into the uh, dotted style for example if I created a shape over here something like this a round circle and it's basically a simple line you can see but with the help of stroke options I can convert the shape into the dashed line and you can see how it looks. you can create badges styles and many things you can uh, ever imagine of wanted to create a squiggly shapes in illustrator well basically you need to select or hold down the keyboard tilt key and select any shape you like and by dragging the mouse you can create amazing squiggly wiggly shape like this in illustrator with the help of pucker and blot tool you can create amazing small elements which you can use in different artwork. For example, you can create tons of flowery shape, 
a little kind of a star shape and many other and you can also edit them further to make them more good and amazing if you want to change the font or you want to change the style of the font there is a shortcut key which is really useful just press the ctrl T from the keyboard and you can change the font you like for example I can do many things like I can change the styles of it I can change the text uh, gaps etc etc so it's really useful shortcut key to you for you to learn actually in illustrator aligning different element into center or align them into the exactly same position is really useful just simply select the shape and make sure they are ungrouped click on the align option and select this option and it will going to make your all elements into center and later you can change the style of the shape as you want it so do you think that in illustrator this eyedropper tool is only used for changing the color of the element no you can also change the style of the font you wanted with the another font you have created for example if i want to change the style or the font similar to this one i simply click on this eyedropper tool and select this font and you can see that I have converted my other font into the same font that I've always wanted to. Let me show you a really quick example how and what this pucker tool can do with your design. So I selected the line over here and draw the line shape something like this. Then I will going to drag it by holding the alt key and using the shift key on to the bottom of this design. Now I'm going to select both design, go to object, blend and blending option. I have selected the specific steps and selected 8 as my steps and click OK. Now I will going to go object, blend and make. Once I have done it, I will going to click on the object and expand my designs. Now I will going to select my pucker tool and see the magic. Well, this tool is really useful for creating tons of ideas that you have. So, make sure you check this tool right now. Well, creating uh, overlap colorful logos or colorful shapes in illustrators are really simple to do. First, you need to make a shape you always want to do and then you can change the color you like. For example, here I'm selecting this color and let me make another copy of this and just drag it or revolve it a little bit like this and then I'm going to change the color of my second shape to something like this and you can see that the both of colors are different now I'm going to select both of these shapes and the opacity level I will going to add 80 percent and hit enter and as you can see how it looks you can create tons of great logo design with the help of this idea and hope you like it with the help of clipping mask, you can crop your images in Illustrator. Just simply drag or drop your image you wanted to convert or want to crop. Then you need to select the shape you wanted to uh, make the crop or the cropping area you want. For example, if I want the chicken head over here like this, I will going to make the shape on the top of it. Then I will going to select both of the shapes the image and the shape I created right click on it and make clipping mask and that's how you do it